Welcome back and thanks for stopping. Today is the last day for the meat chickens as tonight uh, I gotta bring them up to the processor to get butchered tomorrow morning. But before we do that, we gotta take care of a couple of things we gotta prepare. Uh, and the number one thing is, this morning when I moved them to new grass, I also gave them feed. And one thing you wanna make sure of with meat chickens is when you process them, they don't have any food in their gizzard. So I thought about bringing a pail in here and cleaning out the feeders and emptying them and all of that kind of stuff. Um, but my plan for the hoop house is once these guys are gone, I'm going to be bringing out some egg layer chicks and I'm going to have them in the hoop house. So I still need to have the feed in here and I need to have the water. So I think I'm just going to leave the feed in there. I'm just going to make it so that they can't reach it. And being they don't have feed, the number one thing is we do want to make sure that they always have a, a steady supply of fresh water. The next thing is going to be sufficient air movement. I'm going to turn the fans on. It's only supposed to get in the mid 80s today, but uh, there's a couple of them that have their beaks open. They're panting a little bit. So I just want to make sure that they stay as comfortable as possible. Next step is getting the trailer. And I don't know if it's a two and five sixteenths inch ball or a two inch ball, so I'm gonna bring both. Two inch, just as I thought. All right, let's do a quick walk around. Make sure we got tight air in the tires. Tires look good. Door is latched, that looks good. Tires look good, and door is latched, perfect. It's not an oversized trailer, but boy does it work awesome for hauling chickens. It's super nice for towing. Nice small trailer, uh, makes it a little bit lighter, pulls a lot easier, just nice in general. Next step is preparing the trailer. What I mean by preparing the trailer is getting hay on the floor. I don't know if I'm gonna cover it with about four or six inches of hay. Um, and the reason for that is not because it's cold, but uh, because they like to poop and the hay will absorb the poop when they do and then it won't get on the feathers and it'll keep, them off, keep it off of them. And not only that, it'll make it easier for cleaning up the trailer, then I just have to sweep out the, the bedding and I don't have to pressure wash in here because we don't have poop that's smeared into the wood. Uh, it just makes it a much cleaner job. I don't know if trailers are well known for their suspension, but I got to believe that having six inches of hay is going to also make it a little bit more of a cushy ride as we take them up there. One other feature that makes this trailer perfect is ventilation. We've got a vent hole right there. We've got another vent hole right there. Let's see if we can get it to focus. Right up there. And then the sides, 
they're all kind of wide open here. And what makes it nice with that is as we're driving, we'll have plenty of airflow. Uh, with 80 chickens in here, that's going to be, I don't know, it's not going to be overly crowded, but they do give off a fair amount of heat. And especially if it's 80, 85 degrees in the day, it'll just be nice to have some airflow to keep them cool. And here we are a few hours later and there's a nice little breeze coming through here. Uh, most of this is going to be shaded and I'm on a little bit of an incline so this piece of plywood it should stay here. If not I've got to back up with a, a bungee cord but um, let's start loading. Alright you chickens, it's time. One thing I have learned while loading chickens is you want to keep the artillery end pointed away from you. Their poop comes out pretty quick and it'll cover you if you aren't careful. So that is what 81 Cornish Cross chick meat chickens looks like in a stock trailer. Looks like they're fairly happy. They got a little bit of a workout when they came in here flapping their wings. So a couple of them are puffing a little bit, but we do have a good breeze and again, on our, on our trip up there. We got a couple of vents up in the front there. The sides are wide open, uh, so they're gonna get plenty of air. Well, and that's a wrap. All I gotta do now is clean up the trailer straighten up the hoop houses, and in two days, go pick up our frozen chickens. Goodbye for now, and thanks for watching.